Well, I was, I, I'm, what I'm trying, what, what is important to me is to try to excite students uh, and, and give them some confidence to do what they want to do and to also believe in themselves. Uh, and what I was trying to illustrate is simply that you, uh, no matter what the adversity, uh, one, you can't overcome it. And, uh, and I think if you simply look forward and have optimism and uh, self-confidence, then you can go for it. Well, I think uh, an enormous influence. On, had I stayed in Italy, I probably would have been dead a few years later uh, and nothing would have happened. I was fortunate that my mother found me, was able to take me back to the United States and provide me with an opportunity. I mean, when I came, I expected the roads to be actually paved the gold. I mean, that's the impression that anybody in, uh, in that time had of, of the United States. Enormous riches. Uh, what I found was not the roads weren't paved with gold, but what was available was opportunity. Uh, and that was worth more than gold. Uh, in, in terms of going into science, I think you certainly influenced um, my going into science. But actually, I went to a Quaker school where what was important was so solving social problems. And uh, what we, uh, the take-home lesson is always that it's polit politics that are important. So my very first semester of college was in political science. But I, I lasted one quarter because I couldn't find the science <laughs> in uh, political science, and therefore switched to physics. <laughs> you, you know, when you're talking, you're always looking at the audience. And so you feed off the audience. And I think this is an exceptional crowd. And I think it's, uh, you know, I wish them really good luck in, in fulfilling their dreams. And I think all they have to do is go for it, and it's there. No, I think, again, it's, I think it's a special group. Uh, I think it's, uh, you know, si uh, medicine is going to change enormously over the next few years. I mean, and, and mainly because of the genome projects and all the uh, attributes arising from that. And so I think you want now a very different uh, type of physician who's willing to learn, who's willing to change in every aspect. I mean, a cancer management is going to be enormously different in, in you know, uh, even 10 years from now. Uh, so I think uh, I look forward to the bright future, and I think if we have health and we are productive, then the nation's in good shape.